Today we are doing a $75 versus $750 budget fishing challenge. All right, we gotta hurry. A boys. minute and 45 seconds. Pin pulls by. Let's go, baby. So, so. The way that this is going to work is that me and Noah are gonna flip this coin right here. Whoever wins the coin toss is gonna get the $750 budget, and whoever loses is gonna get the $75 budget. Once we have our budgets picked out, we're gonna each have three minutes to go inside of Dick's Sporting Goods to pick out our rod, and okay. also five baits, and whatever other fishing supplies that we can afford. And once we have our stuff picked out, we're gonna go to the pond to start the tournament, and the way that you actually win the fishing tournament is gonna be the first person to catch a fish on all five of their lures. So what do you say, Noah? Are you ready to hop into I'm ready this to flip and do it, this coin toss? I'm hoping I get the 750. I'm gonna go with heads. Heads? Okay. All right, here we go. Tails! Let's go! Let's go! I always lose these. <laughs> Listen, I thought the coin toss I would have won because I always lose the rock, paper, scissors, but. All right, Fletch, let's hey. go ahead and get inside of Dick's and see what you're gonna get with that 750. You got a big budget. All right, guys, we have made it into the store. It is time to go ahead and pick out our stuff. Noah is going to start first. We got three minutes on the clock. We're gonna go ahead and start now. All, All right, boy. Noah. Listen, I gotta go fast. The big thing here is we need a rod and reel. That's gonna take up a majority of our money. I think the baits we're gonna be able to squeeze in. So we need to look at options here. You definitely have some room with your budget. Yeah, but that's $69.99. I would yeah. literally have to go to the dollar store to finish <laughs> off this challenge. This one is... That's 30 bucks. That's 30 bucks. So this is an option. That's a good option. It just option. depends if we can find a bait caster that's cheaper because in my opinion, I would rather have a bait caster personally. I think it'd be a little more versatile for what I'm gonna pick out. Well, you better make a decision man you got two minutes and 15 seconds left okay let's see what we got that's 50 bucks push sure. button push button all right we got a bait caster here this one's 50 dollars Ooh, the zebco the zebco i've actually like used this thing this is not a bad bang for your buck for 50. Is it slick 50 bucks i mean it's got the it's green. got lines it's got oh, everything i'm going with it bro you're going with that yeah, all I'd right rather, personally i'd rather spend another 20 bucks and get a bait caster you know what i mean well he's got a minute and 45 seconds so he better start picking all right boys what are we doing what are we doing all right now for baits man i gotta act fast here i don't know if i can afford many hard baits man you know we're spending between 10 and 15 bucks for a hard bait let's start off with the soft plastics all right let's see what we got i always come to this section because i know these are the cheapest three dollars for a pack of sankos i think we're gonna definitely have to go with that what color are we gonna get boys i like this color right there three dollars let's go ahead and go with one of these crawls as well that's three three and a half dollars as well that's seven dollars total boom tick tock one minute and two seconds noah oh my god dude it kind of came up <laughs> you on got me. three more more baits to go dude you already know i gotta pick out a chatter dog bro that's like my favorite bait of all time Ooh, okay so okay they've been eating that pretty good all right we gotta hurry boys Ooh. i did not <laughs> think the three minutes were gonna come out that quick i think we're gonna go with a red eye shad that's just a good bait to go with sexy shad color pretty you simple can't go wrong with that pretty simple that's four baits okay, no four you baits. got one more to go one more to go are you feeling top water the top water top bite's water, been bro. hot i was feeling a buzz bait just with the conditions today you know i feel like the conditions are pretty good for a buzzer old buzz bait and look at this we got a kvd hood buzz bait that's six dollars i actually Ooh, caught it an man. eight and a half pounder on that no, last this year this is a big fish bait so i'm definitely gonna go with that and that's everything man that's five, all five seconds baits. to spare look at that perfect so we got the zebco bait caster we got five juicy baits including the chatter dunk dude i think i'm set bro i feel like with 75 dollars, you actually can do a lot yeah, like you're no, definitely not at a massive disadvantage we got a combo and the five baits for the challenge 75 bucks well i guess it is time for me to do my 750 dollars budget we are actually probably gonna need a shopping cart for everything that I'm about to get. I have some ideas. I had a little bit of chance to kind of like peek around the aisles while Noah was picking stuff out. So let's go ahead and get this timer out and get started. All right, boys, three minutes on the clock, Fletch. Starting now. All right, we're actually hurry. gonna go in reverse. And he's on such a big budget, it's gonna take him forever. So I'm thinking I have $750. I can definitely pick out two rods. I'm thinking a fluorocarbon rod and I'm thinking a braid rod. Aren't you rich? And Look right here, guys. We got two of the best combos money can buy. Bang for your buck. We got the Mont Crush, $219. Doesn't even put a dent in the budget. And then right next to it, we have a Mont 2. The new versions of these, these things are absolute menaces. But this one is left-handed, so let's see if they have a right-handed one. I can fish with a left-handed rod. See some green over there. Let's go ahead and skedaddle that one. They way. only have one? They only, only one? That one's left-handed. I think hey, there's- Hey, you did the left-handed challenge before. I know, I can, I can do left-handed. Like, 
it's fine. I would prefer right, but I think there's some more Mach 2s oh, right here. Oh, they do have the right-handed. I thought I saw them when you were picking out the Bunch Zepco. You got a minute and 50 seconds. That's it? Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, here's a right-handed Mach 2. You got a lot to do in a minute and, and 50 seconds. outside of that, we need some baits. Let's go ahead and go back this way. The top water and the moving bait bite has been pretty fire, so I'm thinking we're going <laughs> to work our way through this. He's gonna break these rods by the time we're out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We got some mock stuff. Let's pick out a... A minute and 20 seconds, Fletch. I'm thinking a mock patroller. I'm thinking a mock shad. Oh, gosh. And a mock work bait. I think we can do all three. Three oh great hard baits. We got a top water. We got a moving bait. We got jerk bait. All the good stuff that we need. And on top of that, I'm thinking... One minute. I'm thinking this little sexy dog, maybe? That looks pretty saucy. They've been eating top water good. Definitely want some stuff for my braid and my fluorocarbon rod. How much time do I got? You got 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Okay, I got four baits. I got two top waters. One more do bait. Let's do like a soft plastic. You got a lot of money left over too. Of some kind. Maybe a spinner bait. I think a spinner bait could be nice. 35 seconds. Let's do, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Go with the natural, bro. Look at the white right there. We're gonna go to this spinner bait right here. We got the Strike King spinner bait and we need to pick out something quickly. We have $750. I probably only spent In 20 two seconds. thirds of that. You have 20 seconds. We're He's impulse the buying. He's impulse the binge buy. <laughs> We're impulse buy. I don't even know how much is this. How Ten much? Seconds. Two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Well, you can afford it. In the You're basket. Rich. Okay. We got it. You got it. That's Four got seconds to spare. Same as mine. I think we're, are we under 750? Dude, you're definitely under 750. So you got what? 220 plus 200. Well, that's 420. Plus how much was this? 250. 250. That's like 70, 670. 670 plus the baits. Bro, you're you're in the zone. You're I'm like, in there. You're probably like 720, 730 bucks. Your money. Oh, yeah. I'm liking what we're seeing, guys. We got that competitive <laughs> that advantage. That impulse buy. <laughs> dude, the this last is, 20 seconds. Dude, this is the, what is this thing called? This is the youth. This is the Quest Youth Minnow. This is like a Noah size kayak. <laughs> yeah, I know it is about the same height, isn't it? Yeah. At 6'3", I might be a little tall for this kayak, but it's going to have to do. We need to get that competitive advantage over Noah, get out there on the water, get to the places he can't get to. <laughs> You just got a whole boat. Just your average day at Dick's. This is, I guess this is why they have shopping carts in Dick's Sporting Goods. So quiet, it's too quiet, it's so quiet in here. We got a few things. <laughs> I see. So we got this kayak. I might be a little bit big for it, but it's gonna work. You think so? I think so. Do y'all have to tell the helmet for us? Yes. You guys have a good day. All right, awesome. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it. channel to see if you <laughs> yeah. flip that thing or not. We're gonna see. Hopefully we don't end up with the gators today. Yeah, right. <laughs> Taylor, why is it every time we come out of this dicks I have something way too big for the shopping cart? I don't understand. I'm jealous. I think we can fit this in okay. here. <laughs> No problem. Dude, that's not bad. A big part of the reason why I love making YouTube content is because it allows me to get outside and fish on a regular basis. Nothing makes me happier than connecting with nature whenever and wherever I can, so I'm always looking for new ways to do so. Recently, I've stumbled across a new company called Holskern that takes this exact idea in mind with every product that they make. Holskern makes watches, jewelry, and more with natural materials like wood and marble incorporated into each piece. Due to the grain, marbling, or iridescence of wood, stone, and other natural materials, each piece is truly unique thanks to nature. My girlfriend and I honestly can't stop talking about how much we love the stone and wood details in the watches, sunglasses, and handbags that we got. Whether I'm stuck inside editing or enjoying the day out on the town, I love being connected to nature every step of the way. And while I'm wearing my favorite Holskern products, I get to do just that. And you can enjoy this experience too. All you need to do is click the link in the description below and go to Holskern's website to check out their vast selection of amazing products. And once you find something that you like, make sure to use code FLETCHER15 at checkout to get 15% off your amazing purchase. I promise you'll love the craftsmanship and detail that goes into each piece. So what are you waiting for? Go click on that link right now, find something that you love, and use code FLETCHER15 at checkout to save 15% on your purchase.
We have arrived. It is time to get after it. I'm ready, boy. I think we just go? It yes, is. sir. Okay, all now. right. Make sure you read your instructions. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm just noticing this now. This thing has a max capacity of 140 pounds. We're gonna exceed that. I'm coming in at a, a whopping 190 plus equipment. All right, boys, we're gonna get started here. First, we're gonna go put this kayak in the water. We're just gonna hop right into it. And I think I'm gonna start off, so we have a couple soft plastics. I'm gonna rig up for that. All right, let me get my stuff out of here. I'm, I'm bringing this bag with me. I don't have anything to put my stuff in on the boat. I was thinking about that, because I'm gonna be <laughs> on the bank. What do I do? That's you, that's you, all your crappy lures. Get that crappy stuff. Crappy lures. Get that stuff out of here. We got everything we need. We got our five lures, we got our two rods, we got our paddle, and we got our very sturdy, very reliable, awesome kayak. The, the Quest Minnow. We're starting off with soft plastics. We're gonna go ahead and hop in this. We have a basic Texas rig right here. Little bullet weight, extra wide gap hook. Then we have our Zebco bait cast here, which I'm kinda excited about. Got our crawls and we're starting off with the Senko. But we're gonna walk down this way and see if we can find a good area to bank fish from. <laughs> Is this going to be interesting to say the least as far as trying to get in the water here? Oh, oh my. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, Tyler. Oh no, no. Okay, okay. One thing we forgot to do was put in the plugs. That might help. I think Fletcher's gonna have a little bit of trouble in the kayak. I was kind of bummed I didn't get the 750, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy. You know, we can casually just walk around, enjoy ourselves. Don't have to worry about flipping out of a kitty kayak. We might want those. I'm hoping we don't sink this thing. I feel like it's gonna be like halfway underwater, Tyler. I got two packs of them. Am I supposed to put them on both sides of the hole? Oh no, I think it just comes with extras. Hoping these fish bite good today. It's right here on this bridge. Make sure this is tight. Don't wanna lose our reel. That would be a catastrophe. We're good to go. Honestly, the casting's not that bad on this. One. All right, round two. Oh, I don't. Oh God. <laughs> um, feel like if I sit here, I'm good. Like as I stand, hold on, let's just do like a little, let's just do a little <laughs> test. Water's getting in here. We might be out of luck here. I might have impulse bought a way too small kayak. The only problem with this combo is I feel like the sensitivity of this rod's probably not gonna be there. Very shaky, I think we're good. All right, let's try it with all the stuff in it. I can see why this thing has 140 pound capacity. Like water's like slowly leaking in over the sides. And I'm a little bit concerned about it. Noah's probably already catching fish. What, what am I doing wasting my time with this thing? <laughs> Let me get out, clear this water out. Uh, your butt's a little wet there. Yeah, I'm aware of the situation, Tyler. Look at this juicy spot. This is a perfect little crevice here. I just gotta get my casting down. I ain't used to this puppy yet. I think this is gonna be the spot where we at least get the soft plastics done. Let's try this again. Try not to get any water in this. The less weight, the less water, the better. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. We're just gonna start with two lures. <laughs> we might leave these here, they come back. Go with the patroller and something I gotta reel. I feel like if I got that jerk bait and I'm just gonna have to jerk a lot, we're gonna be in a bad situation. Let's go with the mock shad. I'm having a hard time getting my bait where I need it. I'm used to having a good bait caster. I'm not saying this one ain't good, but I used to have something I'm used to. This thing I'm just not used to. Off we go, the maiden voyage. Let's try not to sink. Noah's probably gonna laugh at me when I come by him in this thing. I wanna go to an area that he can't get to, just so he's jealous, because he's definitely not gonna be jealous of my rig, but he's gonna be jealous of where I can actually fish with this thing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna go back in this corner first. This seems like a good option. Probably should have started paddling in this direction to begin with. Oh my God, I got Oh, he's running with me. There's another big gator. Oh no, he's coming out towards me. That man's angry. And this fish took my worm. Come on, bro. I just had a bite, dude. Well, I need to be careful out in that kayak. Okay, we're here, guys. It's time to get started. Go ahead and bust out this plopper. I'm thinking we're gonna get started with the mock patroller. One of my favorite little topwater baits. Give this thing a fling. Try to be as stable as possible and see if we can get a nibble up in here. I think he's sitting right up where I was just casting, right on the right hand side. He's just up on this bank. It's a whole different gator. He saw me up here and he wanted to come right up where I'm at. How I look, Tyler? Great, man. You're, you're killing it. Thanks. Like, I'm surprised you made it that far. You know, I never doubted the minnow for one second. Okay. 
Pro tip, don't turn too fast. Dude, I'm excited to see you catch a fish. I'm like very curious to how you're gonna do that. If I catch a 10 pounder, I'm concerned for my life. I'm going in if I catch a 10 pounder. That is just a fact. I do not want to make a gator mad today. I'd rather not. I don't even know what Fletcher's doing. I might need to go check on him. because these, these gators are a little freaking snappy, dude. Fletcher's in a little miniature kayak. <laughs> Oh, oh, I just got a bit. It was a small one. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of hoping for small fish. That is a very rare statement from me. Maybe I should have gone for uh, something besides this with my $750 budget. Maybe a third rod or just one rod and a better, more reliable kayak that actually is meant for my size and is not meant for 10 year olds. I did walk up initially and there was one gator and he just kind of went off, did his thing. But that other one was angry with me. And of course it was right when I had a bite. I was about to catch a fish and I had to back up, but he might be up here. Right now. I'm definitely not walking closer than this. There might be one hiding. My main concern with flipping right now is that there are, in fact, alligators in here. You know, some living dinosaurs, some living fossils. And we don't want to find out why they've lived for so long. That's for sure. Guys, we finally got the gator to go away. Surprisingly, I thought he was just going to be a pain in the butt. I, I hate that he had to try to push up on us at the worst time. He could have waited. I'm just going to let this bait kind of sit there. I know there's fish on that tree. No luck up in this corner. Kind of shocked. We need to keep it moving here. Let's, um, start paddling this way. Might have to get out on like someone's dock at some point and release some of this water that is starting to collect. I just know there's an equilibrium point where this thing is going down if I get too much more water in this. How many fish do you think Noah's caught so far? There's a bite right there. I got him boys, I got him. Oh, it feels like a nice one. Oh my gosh, he came off. And that gator is prancing over here. Bro, can you please stop? I, like, dude, let me just chill, bro. Look, look at him coming. I mean, bro, like, like, just chill out, bro. I could switch it up here and start throwing this mock shad a little bit, but at the end of the day, I gotta catch a fish on all five of my lures to win. So I'm thinking just sticking with the patroller until I get one is gonna be the move. You know, I'm kind of dialed in with it now. I'm feeling good, feeling comfortable casting it on the, the old minnow here. Let's just keep this thing rocking and rolling until something happens. I feel like this rod, guys, has just a little, look at that, little too much tip action, and I just couldn't penetrate that hook. I hooks it as hard as I possibly could, but it just wasn't enough backbone to penetrate that fish's mouth all the way. There's a gator that direction. I think it's probably in our best interest to avoid him. There's another one this direction. Okay, well, it looks like either way I'm going. I'm gonna have to encounter one of these guys. Which one is less big? Uh, that one, that one's looking like it's a little bit bigger than this guy over here. This guy looks like a baby, so I think we're good to go this way. Oh! Oh, oh, I just got a bite. I gotta be very careful about reacting there because I almost yanked that thing and pulled myself out of the boat. Oh, that sucks, guys. That was our first like really good opportunity to catch one there. We have learned that the fish are on the trees. We have had two bites, both within a laydown. I'm not talking throwing a foot off the laydown. I'm not talking about throwing a couple foot next to it. I'm talking you need to be up on that wood and making contact with the bait. Maybe we could find a few more trees. I just know a majority of them are in that corner and those gators are just not being friendly. Let's throw this, uh, this mock shad in there. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. Fish on, don't, don't tangle us up. Don't tangle us up. First cast with the mock shad, always delivering. Come on, baby. Tyler, we got one. Let's go, man. Okay. Get him in the boat. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh, Fletcher has one, I hear him. Calm and steady wins the race here. We got her in the boat. Don't, don't do that. No sudden movements. Calm and collective. That's the strat. She got a good hook in there. Go ahead and pop that out. But check that out. First fish on the board for me. We got one bait knocked out, four to go. Let's keep him moving. Thank you. We're all baby. There you go. One fish down. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we're back at the same spot. Really hoping we can plug one out here. We've lost two fish. Can't let those opportunities go to waste anymore. We physically can't lose another fish. I don't know if Noah has one on the board or not yet, but so far we got one fish on a bank that Noah has no chance of getting to from the bank right now. So it looks like our $250 investment into this kayak is really gonna be the difference maker here. That was a nibble right there. When I hook this fish, guys, we need to get it in so fast. I'm talking faster than we've ever got a fish on the bank before. Has Noah caught one? I don't think so, dude. I think you're leading it. Hey, that's what I like to hear, boy. <laughs> I brought you your lures. Oh, thank you. I'm actually in need of those. I got a bite. I got a bite. I got a bite. 
Oh my God, that's a nice one. The gator is coming. We gotta get him in. Come on, come on. Oh my god, he's eating something up on the bank. Which lure do you want? Let's go with the mock work bait. I'm feeling like that could be saucy. And actually, just give me just give me all of them. Yeah, that We got sense. room. Let's bust this out. The old trusty mock work bait. And we got a little Strike King spinner bait, the Banshee series, and a sexy dog. I feel like that's probably going to be the hardest thing to work from this kayak. We might have <laughs> had to move to the bank for that one. That gator is literally almost 10 foot off the bank. He was trying to come get it. Officially, I got to go take this fish somewhere else. This is a good bass, too. It's almost 30 pounds. I got to release some over here. Oh, he's got one. Oh boy. Bro, you need to be careful in here, bro. What? Why you say that? The gators are that bad. Have you doubted the stability of the Quest Minnow? This is a very reliable watercraft for large humans. Here we go. We're on board finally, guys, after a gator chased us all the way up. Well, that was our first one done. Got all distracted by that gator. That thing freaked me out, man. So we finally got one bait done. We are on board now. After three missed fish, we finally caught what we needed. Now it's time to switch up to our second soft plastic and our only other soft plastic which is the crawl all right guys we got the mock work bag tied on we're gonna put the controller down for a second and try fishing with this for a second i don't want to jerk it too much it's gonna be hard to maneuver in this kayak if i'm jerking it constantly it's gonna kind of like pull me around i also don't want to jerk myself out of the minnow here i think guys if we can get this bait done right here that we'll be sitting in a pretty good spot we're kind of at a disadvantage because we have limited places to fish especially since the gators just took over that land <laughs> because i'm not gonna be able to fight with three or four of them now especially with that angry one and there's another one oh that was my first cast on the crawl dude he went shaplam golly bro why didn't i come here earlier <laughs> my rod is so flimsy dude i can't get a hook in the fish here we go you ready i want you to see this with your own two eyes fletch oh no no <laughs> let's go baby keep talking that trash oh he's coming too he's coming come here baby let's go we cannot let no get carried away here yes three bites on that guys that's two of our fish done now it's time to move to the moving baits and we need to go back and get those but i think there's more than one fish off the end of this tree i wish i would have known that rather than fighting with the gators for the first freaking 30 minutes but it's a pretty fish now we're on the bait number three. All right, we're getting up into this new territory up here where there's supposedly gators hanging out. I don't know what the deal with these so-called gators are, but let's try to, to not counter them up close. The hard stuff is over, at least I think. One other bait that I think it might be a little difficult is definitely the buzz bait. Guys, you know what I even think about? We got a boat, we can troll. We got two rods, two baits. We can put these things out in the water and be ready to rock and roll. We're gonna cast these things out get some line out in the water and we're gonna start trolling our baits around hopefully we can manage to position them right with our limited space here in the kayak but i think all in all this could be a beautiful idea i don't know can we i don't can we even get going fast enough in this thing this might have been a bad idea i'm already all up in your business we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna go with the wind make one pass through the center of the pond see what happens how are my baits looking back there uh oh you threw a top water you're trolling a top water obviously you think that's gonna work yeah yeah, how's it? Is it plopping? Uh, it's kind of plopping. Are they, do you think they're back there far enough? Do I need to go farther? I, I would probably go farther. Okay. Not gonna lie. Opening the bales. Bales are opening. All right, boys. Both soft plastics are done. These are our options. Lipless crankbait. I think we need to do it. I think we need to go back to the original location. Use this lipless crankbait in front of that tree. Or we could go off this dock in front of us and try to fan cast out for a little bit. That might be a good idea as well. All right, we might need to go back to our main dock here and empty out some water. We're getting a little full not really liking the water we're taking on here so we're just gonna go for a v-line to the dock here we go boys bait number three and fletcher's coming back for to the dock for some reason see what we got this is one bait that we can kind of fan cast more off the bank maybe catch some of these fish roaming today it's very cloudy oh dude we gotta get slammed on this now you're like right at the water line <laughs> yeah you have like centimeters of uh clearance there i'm aware i'm aware of the situation tyler i'm just hoping we can get to the dock without going down but a captain goes down with this ship if it goes down it's, I'm going down with it. This will be the last you see of Fletcher the Fisherman if this boat goes down. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. On the troll. On the troll. On the troll. On the mock work bait. Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay. <laughs> no, no I, this is, this is very nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie. 
I kind of am a little bit envious of your position on the bank right now, but we're all tied up. Come here. Come here. Don't be the don't be the straw that broke the camel's back here. We're like literally a centimeter away from the water pouring over the sides on this thing. I appreciate the bite there. That's fish number two, guys. On the work bait, three more baits to go. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. I knew that was gonna pan out. I didn't, I didn't have any doubts in my mind at all. Not a single one. No, this thing is full of water. You have no idea right now. <laughs> really? We got like two and a half, three inches of standing water throughout the entire kayak. The edge where the water is wanting to come over is about a centimeter oh, away. Oh my gosh, dude. You got one? Dude, this thing's huge, Fletch. Really? Bro. Really? Dude, I literally came, it's running towards you. Do you have a gator? <laughs> oh, he's such a liar. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I was like, no way. Here. Okay. I'm gonna All get right. these out of your way. Thank you. No, I appreciate the assistance here. <laughs> look, at your, look at the top water just floating. <laughs> I am uh, on the verge of going to the bottom of the lake here. I, there's a very good chance this thing sinks the second I step <laughs> out of the boat. We got a bait in my pants. Probably minnows swimming up in there too. With the, how much water's in this thing. Okay. This is gonna. This is gonna go really good. This is gonna go really good. Oh, dude, you're sinking. Yeah. Ow, ow, we're good. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're back in business. <laughs> we never had a problem to begin with. Okay, here goes nothing. Round two. I think that was the smoothest entry yet. We didn't have water flood over the side that time. There are your rods, sir. Thank you. All right, we're about to get back after it, guys. Before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and cut this off and get on to our next bait here. We're all tied up, Noah. I know, two to two. A gator almost had me there at the beginning. I'll make sure to stay clear of that area. I will say, Noah, you're starting to run out of bank. I fish. know, there, there really isn't many options. I do, I need a paddle. Hey, That'd be a good thing to have. I mean, I mean, you can come get it. You left it, you left it here. <laughs> Unless you want to do a friendly trade. What's the trade? I'll give you your paddle if you unhook my bait. I don't know if I can agree to those terms. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure it out <laughs> on my own here. I don't know if you're gonna get that. We're gonna figure it out. Something with travel hooks would probably make more sense. He's not getting this paddle. You sure you don't want to trade? We got a paddle right here. No, you just need a fishing rod, you know. Uh, uh, I'll make it a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, man. Well, you know what? For that, I'll go get your bait. All right. I'll go get That's it. That's a fair trade. All right, now we're going to we're gonna try to get your lure here for you. We're good. We got it. What is that? What we're just on fishing on? line. Okay. That's why I had so much give. I just wish there wasn't houses over there because I would totally be walking that bank. That, that bank looks so saucy. I'm limited to areas. I can't go back to Gator Fest no more. They're mad at me. Thank you, sir. That was a fair bargain. You're welcome, man. Just doing what I can to help you out. You need all the help you can get with that What's 75 five dollar budget no you can you can deal with the braid we're we're off we got fish to catch a challenge to win i will see you on the flip side pal well, we are tied sir this is going to be a close one a little back and forth battle we're going to go with the chatter donk only problem with this oh my god hear me out so my one problem with this white chatter donk was i was very stupid and i didn't get swim baits but hear me out that frog buzz bait came with two frogs i can actually put one of those on the back of this and make it a trailer what you guys think about that well Look at that money, dude. We didn't even need swim baits. Tell me that does not look amazing. How, how perfect is that? It came with a frog on there. It came with a spare frog. Perfect for a chatter donk. See, I was thinking without thinking. Oh, there's one. There's one on the spinner bait. On the spinner bait. Fish number three. Let's go. <laughs> yes, that might be the best one yet. Oh, stay out of the trees. Stay out of the trees. We don't need to be in there. We certainly don't need to be in there. Come on, come on, come on, Becky, be good to me. Fish number three. I think we finally got the lead on Noah. There we go. We got all of our moving baits knocked out. We only have top water left, which has been our Healy's heel. I feel like if we had all moving baits and that's the direction we went with from the get go, we would have this done in no time. But it's time to see if we can get some bites on the top water. I appreciate the bite there, little lady. Let's keep it going. I need to catch up, boys. I need another one right here. This will be big. It's a lot of wind pushing right through this area. I feel like there could be a lot of fish right out here in the middle. All right, time to retire this rod. We don't need it any longer. All we need is this other rod because all we have is top water left and that's our braided rod. Go ahead and go back over here to the dock really quick and grab our scissors. Are you catching them up by the trees or were they kind of random? 
Yeah. I know that area is so good, but we just can't cast to it. Yeah. Is there not a house over there? Oh, uh, there's not a house there. How do you get to it? You just walk? Just walk right here. Oh, dude. Have you tried over there yet? Not today. Well, I might get lucky. <laughs> there's a random dock over here, and there's a perfect trail to go over to it. I've never been over here. I didn't even know this was a thing, so that's kind of clutch. I don't think Fletcher's going to risk coming over here either because of the gators, so I might be able to scavenge up a few bites in this corner. Oh, God. Oh, getting a little too trustworthy with the men whoa, over whoa, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. All of that out, and let's try to get out of this thing strategically. Help. That's one way to do it. I think I had the strap for getting back in this thing now. I got the strap down. Get my booty in there first. Boom, bada bing. Ready to go. No water over the edges. Keep it that way. We got less things than ever to carry with us. There goes the rod. We got our pliers slash scissors and our last bait that we need and our paddle. That's all we need. Let's go ahead and get these last two fish. So for these last two baits, guys, I think the move is going to be to kind of venture underneath this bridge. There's a back cove. We got a lot of pockets, a lot of laydowns, a lot of trees. Okay, guys, we've made it back in here to where the cove's at. Little did I know there's actually a dock back here where old grease ball found a way to get back here. But I don't think you can get to the spot that I want to get to, which is this cove here to the right. It's steep back in here. I don't think he's got the range or the angle to get to it. All right, patroller, see what you got. We just need one fish on you, one nibble. Oh, that spot looks so good. This is exactly what we're looking for, top water. You, you need to chill it, Noah. <laughs> you need to chill it right now. I'm trying to catch one under you, you know? The only thing you're about to catch, Noah, is the nail, okay? Oh, let's go, let's go. <gasps> no, he came off! <laughs> no! Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, that tree looks money. I gotta be so careful not to flip myself. I got a little excited there. Dang, got wrapped up around the tree and I didn't want to pull too hard because I don't want to go in the water. That sucks. All right, on to the next pocket. There's gator territory you're coming up on. I know, getting a little nervous. Trying to avoid the gator central down there. I can't believe there wasn't one under this tree. I skipped all up under it too. Must suck to only be limited to a dock, you know? Yeah, that sounds really unfortunate. I'd hate to be landlocked <laughs> maybe one day you'll grow your sea legs noah gosh if i had to crawl right now i'd just be absolutely slaying bass we almost just went in that was probably one of the closest times we've been to going in yet today guys all right now i'm coming to get cozy with you okay i might do a little traveling dude i might go to the other side all right bob I'm all right you. you try not to fall in here god this i I do not look forward to this this moment every single time. Oh. That was Dude, clean. We're getting good at this. I know y'all watching are just waiting for me to fall in. It ain't happening. Oh, okay. This has not been easy, guys. We just gotta stay positive. Fletcher has two top water baits. I think he's gonna have the bites. He can throw in all those little shade lines and everything. It's just something that I can't get to, sadly. But we'll try right here for a second. A little nervous you know just taking it in just taking it in calm before the storm it's about to go down that that should be the opposite you know put sunglasses on not take them off yeah there yeah. there we go is this the time you're gonna go in because i've just been waiting <laughs> waiting for you to fall in i want it to happen not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> easy doubt no we ain't going in dude i already i'm a master of getting on and off of this craft now here goes nothing you're too good at it, man. Too smooth. All right, we got all our stuff. Let's go catch these fish. You know what? We're going through gator territory really quick, Tyler. I think if we just breeze through there, we should be good to go. Show them who's boss. I want to get over to that far <laughs> bank. We're good. But we do we do need to empty the boat back out. This is where we caught our second fish. I want to say I had more than one fish bite me. I've been saving this. And we're going to see if we can get a bite real quick and get us on our fourth bait. We need to catch up here. Time is ticking. I don't really have any good angles to get up under the trees, which I feel like a majority of the fish are. Couldn't really get them to bite out in the middle. Just unfortunately, I thought I was going to be able to catch a few out there at least. It has been a struggle. We're not giving up yet, but we just got to keep on making these casts and hope for the best. We're good, we're good. Wait. I got him boys, I got him. Oh, it's a big one too, it's a nice one. 
All right, we're gonna have to land this fish over here. Oh, stay on, baby. Stay on, that is a good fish. And she came off. You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> oh, boys, we have tried everything. That was like a three pounder. Oh, man, size doesn't matter in this, but geez, that sucks. First bite. Another day in the life. Here we go. One more time. These dips I've been doing in the gym have been coming in handy today. Ow. Off we go, here we go. All right. Dude, I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. I let it fall right on that tree, boys. We're not out of this. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh, he was barely freaking hooked. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for biting. We are on the bait number four, guys. It ain't over yet. I'm just gonna give him a little. Time to shine, baby. There's one little corner up here that I've been wanting to fish that has just been really consistent in the past when we fished this pond. Jeez, boys. Today just hasn't been going our way. You know, we've been fighting through it, doing everything we possibly can. But if I can at least catch another one and get onto that final bait, I'd be happy. But I think we can clutch it out in that little spot. We had two bites after fishing all around this place. Pull up there, have two good bites. That's a good sign. All right, we're gonna start here. The spot I really want to fish is up there. But while we're here, this looks untouched touch looks like it could definitely hold a fish give it a cast on to bait number four we can do this we're in a good spot now let's go ahead and get this thing in the water and see if we can get another one where we just had that bite there might be some more fish stacked up i'm thinking they pulled up oh come back go back yes oh come back come on come on you got to be kidding me tyler that was crazy come on now he hit it twice i knew we were making the right move coming over here dang man see if he'll eat again i'm all tangled up now dude dude i'm pretty sure i just oh my god i got him i he came off he came off he came off he came off i've lost a fish on every bait and i don't know what's going on mm. come on There, there we go. We got him. We got him that time. Stay down. Stay down. That's a good one, Tyler. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. And hopefully the that gator is nowhere to be found. Um, because this fish is pulling us around right now. Um we're just gonna let him swim off for a second and uh we're just gonna we're just gonna do one of these. Come on, come on, come on. Relax, my friend. Boom by the bing. <laughs> fish number four four baits knocked out one more to go let's get this off and let's move on to our final bait no shot we got him boy fish number four in ga gator territory she thick ain't she i appreciate the bite there lady let's get this bait cut off and let's get on to our final lure You've just been confined to the bank man it's really the only thing holding you back if i could get over there now i think i would have a chance but that and your your subpar fishing skills oh you're crazy got our last bait here we got the little sexy dog one of my favorite walking baits of all time let's get this thing all rigged up and let's go ahead and seal the deal on this challenge boys i know noah's shaking in his boots over there ain't that right i'm not really shaking nor do I have boots on, but I am getting a little scared because I cannot buy a bite on this thing. See, that's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. I can smell the victory here, guys. One more spot to go. This corner has been delivering for me time and time again, and I'm feeling as soon as we throw this little walking bait up there, as long as I can work it okay from this little kayak, we should be good to go. Made it to this other corner. Let's give this spot a shot. Submerged grass edge right here. Good place for a lunker to be lurking. It's kind of a hard lure to work out of a kayak especially one that's on the smaller side it is one to spin on me all right coming up on another dock these have been promising for us today we got him we got him we got him we got him tyler we got him i don't know what we got going on but we got him. You did it, man. <laughs> we got 
got the fish. Oh my we got the dove. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Whole Skirm by clicking the link down in the description below. And make sure y'all use code Fletcher15 at checkout to save 15% on your purchase.